Hey guys. I feel like I was really rambly last time but welcome back to my channel if you've never seen me before I've never seen my channel before hello my name is Sarah and I make a lot of different types of videos I make plus size fashion cook with me's clean with me's mommy videos makeup videos beauty videos gift videos all of that type of stuff so if you're interested in that please check out my channel and hit the subscribe button if you like it um, but today's video is the start of my favorite type of videos to film and those are the holiday gift guides I absolutely love Christmas time I love gift giving I love these making these videos and filming these videos and watching these videos this is probably the most watched videos I have are what to get my such and such or so and so for Christmas I have no idea why it's so gratifying to watch these types of videos to me and I love getting ideas and I'm just really excited to film so this is the first one and this is going to be what I got my husband for Christmas and it's just gonna be a gift guide for him um, I filmed this video last year and just never put it up and this year I was like I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put it up because I love these types of videos and I I don't know I don't know why I didn't do it last year I think I just like overthought too much um, anyway so this year we're filming it and it's going to be a collection of all different types of things my husband and I do exchange number of presents um, we don't really set limits as much as we probably should we are not good about that we just make a wish list of things that we want and obviously most of the items are reasonable we really don't put anything above like $200 I feel like maybe 300 but typically each item is definitely under $200 um, and we kind of go and pick and choose on that some things are a lot less expensive and a lot more expensive and then typically I buy the majority of his gifts that he wants in his wish list and some extras just because I like to give things that he doesn't know about yet so that's um, a lot of this stuff he didn't ask for <laughs> but I just like giving gifts so um, yeah we're gonna get started so like I said my husband makes a wish list we put it on Pinterest and everything's linked below it's amazing it's the only time he uses Pinterest is either to buy gifts for my wish list or for to create his own wish list he makes it in about October September October I asked for early wish lists because I like to budget and I like to try to find the best deals and all of that stuff um, and look around and see different items so I have to make a uh, wish list on Pinterest and it works so well because my husband is really really picky um and with I don't maybe not picky I'm just really sensitive when it comes to gift giving because I feel like I'm really bad at it so I want to see like things that he wants and so I can go and base off of other things as much as I know my husband and I love my husband he actually really is picky so I want to give him things that he really likes and that he'll use and not just be like this is great thanks and then never touch it again so if that makes sense um so this is going to have a whole smorgasbord of things things that you can easily give a loved one like a husband a brother a cousin a boyfriend a best friend a dad a grandpa anything really there's nothing that's particularly like risque for husbands or anything like that um so we're just gonna get started the first thing is something i already gave to him i intended to give it to him for christmas and then i totally was impulsive because I love giving gifts and gave it to him on our anniversary and we normally don't exchange gifts on our anniversary but this year we decided to randomly um and I got him a new wedding band his original wedding band I custom ordered off of Etsy and spent a whole bunch of money on it and then it cracked and broke because it was carbon fiber and titanium with like a ceramic or some sort of coating that caused it to start chipping and cracking and I was really disappointed one because there's a lot of nostalgia in that ring and a lot of like sentimental value it holds but also because it was expensive and I was sad that it started cracking already so, so he loves carbon fiber that's like his favorite type of like material if you could say that I don't know if people have favorite types of material but that's his and so I went on the hunt for new carbon fiber rings and I found one on Amazon that I loved this thing is so incredibly cheap and I has really good reviews and I figured if it starts chipping and cracking I feel better spending so much less money on this thing rather than spending another like 400 500 dollars on a ring that like 
broke so fast. If you have a loved one who needs a wedding band, a new wedding band, you're about to get married, or if you have somebody who really likes rings, this is a really cool ring. And they also have it in red, uh, black and blue, which gives me like a Tron type of vibe. Um, and I just love it. I think it looks really cool. So this next item is a watch and he didn't necessarily ask for a watch until recently but it's something that I knew I wanted to give to him. He's a business professional and I just think watches look sexy. You know, they look like manly and sexy. If you're giving it to your dad, maybe not use the word sexy but just cool. It's just like a gentlemanly thing. You know, like I just think of like gentlemen and cool modern men. This is all sounding really weird. I just like watches on men, okay? I just think they look nice and cool. And anyway, so I knew I wanted to get him a watch and he just recently, the past like month, has been like, oh man, I should put a watch on my Christmas list. And I was like, got you. But I've been tricking him being like, yeah, it's way too late, I got all your presents. So he has no idea and I'm very excited about it unless he snooped and saw this, which I'll be pissed because then now he's dropping hints to confuse me. I don't know, we play games like this around Christmas time with gifts. Um, but I had seen tons and tons of these promotional ads before YouTube videos on Instagram and on Facebook and it is the company called company Yod. It's J-O-R-D, but it's pronounced Yod. And the ads are just stunning. Like they make me think of a modern Mad Men. I just love the way they looked. And that is what really instantly got me like to click on these ads and look at these watches. And very shortly after, I was um, approached by somebody who works for the company and wanted to offer you guys a giveaway with this video as well as send me a watch to try out for myself. I'm not paid, they did not give me any extra money or anything like that. Literally just a giveaway for you guys and this watch and I am so impressed and excited. And so the watch comes in this beautiful wooden box. Um, this is stunning and would look so nice on a dresser, a side table, wherever your loved one keeps their knickknacks and belongings. The reason that I also like this is because it's magnetic. So the top is magnetic and it includes this handy dandy drawer that is also magnetic. I just, magnetic things are so satisfying to me. <laughs> anyway, the reason that I really like this too is this will be perfect for his wedding ring. And if you have a husband or whomever who has rings or little trinkets or something, this is perfect wedding ring right there, all kept nice and neatly and you aren't gonna lose it. I have a ring dish, he doesn't. I'm terrified he's gonna lose things all the time. That is a perfect spot for it. It also comes with cleaning things like a microfiber cloth, but it comes with all these cleaning items. And the other thing that is amazing about these watches I'll make sure I do close up so you can see everything really nicely, is that they are wooden. And that is to me what really set these apart from the other watch brands that I was looking into. Um, and because it's just different and I loved that about it and I just think it's beautiful. So this is the watch that I chose. This is the Hyde Ebony and Iron one, I believe. So the wood is this really deep, dark, beautiful, like black, wood but it has these like random highlights in it and it's just so stunning it is so pretty like i so pretty and i love the front of the watch because it's minimal the hide collection is like the minimalistic one and that's totally my husband and it's red and black i mean everything about this is perfect and i'm completely regretting the decision to give him that ring early now that i'm thinking about that that would have been perfect together Ugh. okay What's done is done. Still gonna be really cool. Just not as big of an impact now. But this watch is stunning. I love it. You have the date on the um, the date on the side as well, and it's just it just says something. It just like looks so sexy. You just look sexy. Okay, I'm gonna use the word again. Um, and I highly recommend this. I just this is beautiful. I need to set the watch because it's not set yet. But I'm telling you, I've never been so impressed buy a watch before. If you want to win $100 to shop at Yode, please click the link below um, in my description box and make sure you're a subscriber and you'll be entered to win $100 shopping credit to shop their collection, which is beautiful and stunning. Not only do they have men's watches, they also have carry women's watches and they do Apple bands. So everything will be linked below. 
please enter the giveaway. I want to give that to you. I don't get anything from it, but I want you guys to have a beautiful watch. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, the next item is something that was was on his wish list, and he is actually normally a PC gamer, but recently I got a PS4 last year. But last year he played um, Assassin's Creed. I don't remember what it was called. It was the Egypt one, and now this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is the new one. He really loves the Assassin's Creed like series. He plays he played most of them on his PC, but recently switched over to PS4. And so I got this for him. I love the gameplay of these games. They're stunning. I mean, I don't really care about the story as much as I can mean like the assassination part of it, but I think it's just beautiful. The gameplay that they do, the actual like graphics are stunning. I love ancient Egypt. I love the history about it. I love the mythology about it. Like everything about ancient Egypt is like my jam. So last game was really, really cool. And I also really like ancient Greece and I'm excited to learn some like more Greek mythology I just it's so cool to me so I'm excited this is definitely something he's excited about and um, it'll be a fun thing to give to him the other game I got him was I only got him two games is Red Dead Redemption 2 that's like the big game of the year it recently just came out and I got him that on Black Friday it is yet to come in the mail as some as some other stuff I will end up inserting pictures and certain things because I want to get this filmed and up for you guys so you guys has ideas and some links to certain things. But I did get him that as well. And that's probably something he's like the most excited to receive. So, all right. This next item is kind of a random item. Um, but I don't know. I just, he mentioned this multiple times, not as a gift, but more of like, we need to get one of these. And I was like, I hear you. So it is a Black & Decker steamer. Now unfortunately this isn't like in like a cool box where it actually shows you the item. Um, I ordered this on Walmart. I'll try to see if I can insert a picture. But this had so many good reviews. He has been talking about getting a steamer for a long time for his suits. He's a business, pro business professional. He dresses beautifully. And he always needs an iron or some sort and our iron is just so big and our ironing board's big it's just a pain so he's been talking about a steamer this is a handheld steamer so it is a small footprint it's easily can be stored and it's really good reviews and i know sometimes like why do you want to give gifts like that it's like no fun it's like the whole thing like don't get your wife a vacuum although i put a vacuum on my christmas list this year um i think utility gifts become so appreciated in the long run they may not be as like oh you got me a steamer cool but it's like later be like thank god for that gift okay the next thing i got is kind of a random thing um but this also wasn't on his list but i thought this is such a special gift and i got him a new bible now he already has a bible that he treasures and it is his soldier bible that he got when he joined the army and so it has a lot of sentimental value to him He's a veteran, he's no longer in the army anymore, but um, it's something that he still like really holds on to. But I find that, so for me, I really love reading and I love to learn about the history and meaning behind things. I love to look up what scholars had said about certain things in the Bible because sometimes you can read something and you're like, what the heck? Like that doesn't make any sense. Or um, the vernacular is so different and sometimes it's harder and the footnotes are helpful, but sometimes you like to dig a little deeper, right? Or you just want to put it in a lot more simplistic terms. I love researching and I love learning and going deeper and deeper and deeper, but that's not something he really enjoys doing. So as much as he loves that other Bible, I think this will be an amazing tool for him to, for quiet times so we can read his bible and everything's put in a lot more like basic terms um so basically if you don't know this translation of the bible is called the message and it is a modern version modern translation so it's not as uh, hard as vernacular they try to break down things a little bit easier um and i just i don't know i love the message it's something that i've really loved for a long time too um sometimes it just hits home a bit harder um with certain translations of verses so i don't know everybody's particular about their type of bible and their translation so um but i think these types of bibles are really great for younger uh either newer christians or um for teens or for people who just like you know like perfectly right on out there you know does that make sense i don't know anyway this particular message bible i think is beautiful because it's just basic black they do come in other colors but it just looks like a moleskin journal and i love that about it i just think this is so pretty it's not super big and bulky 
it's nice and bendable and pliable it's just beautiful okay i always get him pairs of socks these were in the target dollar section and i think he's like overwhelmed with socks now but i always get him socks every christmas um he actually really needs to go away and throw away the yucky ones but he has yet to do that but i got him these his favorite definitely is not green but he has so many of the other colors that he likes so i just thought these were cute they're wintry so it has like these little ones have like fair isle kind of print these ones are a bit more i don't know kind of like I don't, really want to, I don't know how you describe that. And the others are striped. I just really liked these. Um, and uh, I'm excited to give them to him. These were only $3 from the dollar, dollar spot. Like I said, I'm excited. And they just come in this cute little thing. Normally, it's been like 5 bucks a pair. These probably are not going to be the best quality. They probably will last about a year. But still, you can't really beat $3. Like I said before, my husband's a business professional. And he's so picky with his clothes like he has beautiful beautiful suits and shirts and ties and tie bars and cufflinks and shoes and all of those things and he's so particular but he also doesn't buy himself clothes very often and he wears them every single day and they just get beaten up and worn so i sometimes like to just throw a couple things in the mix um and i'm not going to be spending like 500 dollars on a you know pair of pants a budget shop but his, some of his favorites have now become like things from, you know, department stores or Target or something that you wouldn't expect. Um, so I got him this shirt. This is a bit more casual. I don't know if he can technically wear this to work, but I think it's really pretty and he could wear it to church. And it's actually from Walmart. And this is from the George line. It's a slim fit. Um, and I just thought it was so pretty. It just like, it's kind of Christmassy, but it's more teal than it actually is like green. And I just think it's so pretty. Um, he does not like pockets on the front. So mm, it's kind of a mess, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I just really liked it. It's definitely more cotton. It's not like a super fancy shirt, but if you have somebody who needs some more like dressier clothes or casual, but nicer, uh clothes i think this is so pretty and they did come in other colors but i just really liked this one along those same lines i found some new trousers these are from target they're the good fellow and co line which i happen to really love um and he really likes to actually he has a number of things that he does have from them that he actually wears to work these are kind of like wool I don't even really know the material. I don't know if he's gonna like them, but they're kind of like the herringbone sort of vibe on them. Um, print almost, woven. But I think he will like them. I think they're really pretty and I think they're different than what he has. I just, they're a nice pair of trousers. They are slim fit, which is what he prefers. Um, he's a tiny little guy. But these were on sale in the clearance section for $14.98 and I was so excited about that because they're like winter pants um, but they were on clearance and I'm not sure. So the next thing I have for him is pajamas. Or our pajamas. Gym jams is what we call them. And these are from Fruit of the Loom. They are from Walmart. They are these really, really soft like flannel pajamas. They're buffalo check and they're gray and black and, or well, light gray, dark gray, and white. And I really like them. Um, obviously pajamas are like a pretty normal exchange during Christmas time. But my husband never buys pajamas for himself. The only time he gets pajamas is during Christmas time. And so I always make sure that I get him a new nice pair. He's never forgotten. Um, and I just really like them. I think they're really cute. And they're not anything like he has. And so I'm excited because they're nice and cozy and flannel. So they keep them warm. But they're also not really heavy fleece. So I hope he likes these. They were super cheap at Walmart. And to go along with it, even though this does not match in the least, um... <laughs> This is how we do it here. I got him a shirt. This is from the Good Fellow and Co. from Target again. These were on sale for six dollars. They're regularly seven ninety nine. Still a good price. And this is just a V neck T shirt. Um, he has. I mean, I feel like that's the only place I buy him shirts. T shirts is from Target, and he has so many of them, and so many at least of like the same type of colors. This is a color that he doesn't have any of, at least in T shirt form. Target's clothing. They're for men i just really appreciate and enjoy especially this line so recommend that all right the other thing i got for him are some new sunglasses these were on his wish list he put these ones on as well as some designer sunglasses that were really pricey and i was gonna get him those 
but he has a very, very, very bad habit of losing sunglasses, like all of the time. And so I decided I was gonna spend money on these ones, or the cheaper ones, and then if he was really good and didn't lose them, that I would probably buy him them for uh, like a nice pair for Valentine's Day or something like that. Um, and these are the Shady Ray ones. The ones he really likes are the, the ones he really likes are like, they're called like Oakley's Hallbrook, I think, and they're kind of supposed to look like wood grained, um, which if you can see a theme here, his wood watch, his wood glasses, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, but he put these on there. I hope he likes these. I think they look really nice. Um, but they're just basically, they're just basically these, like, wood, wooden glasses. They're, like, a uh, very wayfair -y, ray band -y kind of vibe to me. Um, I feel like that style's kind of gone out, but he's definitely very traditional when it comes to like glasses and sunglasses and the style he likes so i still think these look really nice on his face he's very angular jawline um and pronounced bone structure and features so i think these will look really nice on him and these were about 40 dollars on amazon so not like 10 dollars glasses but not like 150 dollars glasses so i think these look good let's put them on me i always buy him things this is more for a stocking um i always buy him like body products. Um, I think this is great if you have a teenager or a husband or a boyfriend or something that you may live with or something that it's like normal for you to buy this type of stuff for them. Um, but it's just a good idea. So it was really great stocking stuffers. I bought him this Axe Urban Messy Look Matte Gel. He uses the pomade and loves it, but he recently is trying a new hairstyle and he really needs like a gel to kind of like do it back or you know style his hair so we're gonna try this out it's matte which i think is really cool because i've never heard of a matte gel before so i'm interested to see how this works and it smells nice we're trying out a new body wash we're doing with axe too i mean i don't know if that's like how people feel about axe body wash but i think it smells good this one is the apollo which is sage and cedarwood scent and then i also got him a bottle of hairspray to go with his new hairstyle that he's been trying that may seem lame i actually also ordered him like a nice comb um on amazon that was like a good ten dollars or twelve dollars for just one comb and uh it doesn't come in yet but i just it's like a nice like a groom set you know smell good look good feel good that was stupid. <laughs> okay, so tradition that we always do every single year is I buy him a new t-shirt. And by t-shirt, I mean like a themed shirt. So of something that we've like enjoyed that year, typically it's TV show related because we have no life. Um, but, or like just things that he's really into or games or music or something like that. Uh, we have done The Office t-shirts. We have done Game of Thrones. We have done, I've gotten an Office t-shirt. I've gotten a Game of Thrones t-shirt. I've gotten him a, last year it was Stranger Things. Um, I typically look all over the internet. I'll go on Amazon, on Etsy, on small shops, and just find like really cool, unique t-shirts. And it's like a tradition that we've done now for the past five years, and I love it. It's so much fun, and it's just like, it's like Something you, you don't know what to expect. You know you're getting a t-shirt, but you don't know what theme I'm going with this year. And this year I decided to do with one of his absolute favorite musicians who's NF, he's a rapper, and he just came out with some new merch. And I don't think Jess has seen any of it yet. And so I'm really excited. I got him a new shirt from him and it's long sleeve. And I normally just get him t-shirts, but I think this will be nice to have something. He doesn't have a lot of long sleeves for winter time. So I got him this and I hope he really loves it because I think it's really cool and I'm super excited, but that hasn't come in yet. Um, but I will include a picture so you can see what that looks like. Okay, and last but not least, I feel like this was a good amount of things, right? Like, this is good. I always, like, overthink it and feel like I need to just consistently buy. That's my biggest issue because, like, I already have a pretty bad shopping addiction, but Christmas time is when it just, like, all falls out the window and I'm just, like, buy everything. Um, anyway, I, the last item is a, is a new pair of work shoes, these beautiful dress shoes. Um, and he's very specific about his shoes, too, but I was like, throw caution to the wind. I really like these. So I ordered them and... They are beautiful. They're basically like kind of like short boots. I don't know how you call it. Is that what you would say? But they're just so pretty and ugh, I think these will look so nice. And they have a zipper on the side, so I don't know how he's gonna feel about that. When I ordered them, I didn't know about the zipper 
feel like it kind of takes away a little bit but maybe he won't mind that um but i just think that they look really beautiful and i hope he really likes it it's a new style for him to try and i love the color everything about these are just stunning the only thing is they're they're very strongly like scented they smell like super super rubbery and he loves like leather soles but i find that he wears through his leather soles so much more than he does rubber soles and he's always saying like no rubber soles you just like throw them out the next year and that never happens he wears through the leather soles so much faster and i know you can resole them but it costs a whole bunch of money and by the end of the day it's like okay so i think that is about it of course i always get him like a new toothbrush underwear wife slash mom things i don't know um but those are more of his stocking stuffers little knickknacks and stuff little treats and candy and stuff like that but these are his like bulk actual gifts so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope that you guys got some ideas for some either stocking stuffers or gifts to give a loved one in your life um, i'm really excited for gift giving this year and christmas and just the holiday season i am so thankful for all the blessings and amazing things i have in my life and the people i have in my life and you guys in particular we just hit 5,000 subscribers and that is such a big deal to me and I'm like incredibly incredibly thankful for you and you guys coming back and watching my videos and enjoying my content so keep a lookout because my next video will be my what I got from kids blah, blah, blah. keep a lookout because my next video will be what I got my kids for Christmas and that one's a doozy because like I said I have a shopping problem so that one's ridiculous but uh, <laughs> that should come up really really soon and thank you so much for watching like i said i will see you guys in my next one merry christmas